Hey everyone, my name is Aaron and I am the newest member of the Amusement Insider team right over here on YouTube. Yeah! And on Instagram. Yeah! And Facebook. Yeah! And everywhere else. Oh, uh, you may be asking, Aaron, why are you joining Amusement Insiders? Who are you? Those are some questions that I am going to answer for all of you right now. This is part one in a 93 part mini series where I'm explaining why I'm joining the team. I'm kidding. This is not going to take 93 episodes. I'm going to tell all of you right now. I am basically a massive, massive lover of theme parks and roller coasters. I've always been since I was a little kid. Uh, I actually grew up going to Wonderland. My mom used to work at the theme park actually selling balloons. My dad is a clown and he actually performed at Wonderland uh, when I was a kid. So I grew up all the time at the park. That's just 15 minutes from my house. Every single year too, when I was a kid, we would always have a family trip down to Orlando. Of course, falling in love with Disney and everything I do is Disney. I love Disney. Uh, I love everything that has to do with just being at theme parks. Not only that, I am a huge fan of news and rumors and updates. I love seeing construction photos and uh, updates of coasters and projects and lands all over the world being built. So hopefully I can share a little bit with all of you uh, just about news, rumors, updates, and all of that fun. Also in all my free time, when I'm not doing what I love to do, magic, which I'll talk about a little more. I am on YouTube watching through every single theme park channel I can find, looking at POVs and breakdowns and uh, just history of parks and coasters. I love it. If you're watching this video and you have a YouTube channel about roller coasters or theme parks, I've probably seen all your videos, so thank you. Now I have four loves in my life. The first, which is quite obvious, is theme parks, amusement parks, anything that has to do with going to them or just watching content that has to do with them here online in my free time. I love roller coasters. I love going. I love planning on it. It definitely is one of the four loves of my life. It owns a quarter of my heart. Moving on to the second quarter of my heart, we have magic. I am a professional magician and I live, I sleep, and I am always thinking magic. The third thing that I love is horror movies, haunted attractions, anything that has to do with anything spooky. Uh, I love horror. It's awesome. The fourth love of my life is, of course, my girlfriend Caroline. This is Cartoon Caroline and Cartoon Aaron. As you can tell, we love Disney very much. Four loves of my life. Now, I want to tell all of you a little bit about me. Uh, so when you're watching my videos, you know where all my thoughts and opinions are coming from. Now, I've been in magic my whole life. I actually started performing when I was just four years old. The reason for that is my dad is a clown. <laughs> I know what a lot of you are thinking. You're thinking, my dad's a clown too. But no, no, my dad's a clown. He's like a beep beep clown, like a real clown. Uh, so I actually grew up performing with him. Over the past five years, I've actually got to perform in some absolutely amazing places and work on some absolutely amazing projects. I've got to be a magic consultant on a great show at CBC Kids, The Thrillusionist. I got to bring my family magic show all across Canada, performing at tons of festivals here in Toronto, everything from Kids Fest Toronto to Bumpkin Fest Toronto, uh, to Canada's Wonderland for many, many summers, to West Edmonton Mall, to the Provincial Exhibition of New Brunswick magic all over and two years ago i was actually trying to bring a really cool horror themed escape room to toronto and it sort of changed with my uh, partners i work on it with into a show so we created something called the kill show and i've performed that at screamers which is a massive haunted attraction here in toronto for the past two years unfortunately this year we are not gonna be back since there's not looking like too many haunted attractions are gonna be open, which is sad. But we are gonna be bringing that online virtually this year. But uh, I got to put a whole bunch of crazy, gory, horror illusions together into this crazy show. And last year, Wonderland actually loved the show so much that they wanted to bring one of the illusions to their park. So I actually got to go into Wonderland, build, direct, and write uh, a show for their haunt, which was called The Gallows, where we hung someone in a medieval village every hour, or it was every half hour. I don't know, it was crazy. It was happening a lot. It freaked me out. Freaky. 
I thought it'd be a really cool, just so all of you know where all my thoughts and opinions are coming from in future videos, if I let you know my top five favorite theme parks and top five favorite roller coasters. I'm not gonna go deep into any of these, it's sort of just a list uh, that I'm gonna tell you really quickly. Um, and then hopefully in future videos, I can go deeper into the coasters and the theme parks and the attractions and dark rides that I really, really love. But the first, you know what, let's start from five. We'll go from five to number one, keeping it more in a little mystery. But my fifth favorite park that I've been to uh, is actually Thurrup Park in London, England. They had some really, really cool dark rides there from uh, Darren Brown's Ghost Train to some really cool roller coasters. It was a ton of fun. Actually, when we were there, I said I was gonna go too deep. I guess I'm going a little deep. The whole theme park actually had a power outage halfway through the day. Uh, so they had to shut down the full park. It was a bit crazy, but that is my fifth favorite park. My fourth favorite park is actually Canada's Wonderland. If you can't tell, I'm wearing a vintage Canada's Wonderland t-shirt over here. I've gone to Wonderland every single year of my life. I have the honor of performing for three kids fests, which was a week long festival over a few years. Um, I've performed countless charity events in their theaters. Uh, I absolutely love Canada's Wonderland. Everyone who runs the park is fantastic. All the people that go to the park are fantastic. And it's just such a fun, really happy place. Sort of like the other theme parks on this list, especially my number one theme park on this list. My number three favorite theme park is Cedar Point. Keeping it in the Cedar Fair family, I absolutely love Cedar Point. I'm so, so devastated that I can't go to Wonderland and Cedar Point this summer. My girlfriend, she hasn't got to go on Steel Vengeance yet. When she goes on Steel Vengeance, that smile will, smile will be even bigger. I love Cedar Point, some absolutely amazing rides. Steel Vengeance just makes the park even better. I loved it before they even had it. I have a little model of it over here. That is my number three favorite park. My number two favorite park is Universal Studios Orlando. I'm gonna group it in with Islands of Adventure because honestly, I would put either of them up there. I do like Islands of Adventure a little more. I haven't got to go on the new Hagrid's uh, Magical Creature Motorbike, <laughs> motorbike Adventure yet. Uh, and the new Jurassic World Velocicoaster that's coming out soon is just gonna make the park insane. So I can't wait to go on both of those two rides, hopefully next year in 2021. Uh, but even without those absolutely amazing mix of thrill rides and dark rides, it's just the best. I love Universal Studios. I could go there all the time. <laughs> uh, my number one is not too far down the street from Universal Studios, just like I did grouping the two Universal Parks together. I am gonna group all four Disney Parks together. I love Disney World. I said at the beginning I'm a massive Disney fan, and I really am. We actually had our tickets planned to go for the opening week of Halloween Horror Nights this year, um, and we were gonna spend four days in Disney, and we bought those tickets for the park months ago before even the pandemic started. Um, we're devastated we can't go right now. I love Disney. I love all of the theme parks there. And they just get better and better. I'm so excited to go to Galaxy's Edge uh, in Hollywood Studios and the new Mickey and Minnie ride there. Oh, I'm so excited to be back. Those are my top five favorite theme parks. I love theme parks. My top five favorite coasters in the world that I've been on. Number five is Manta at SeaWorld Orlando. Let me also just say that this list may change if I were to think about this on a different day. Uh, this is just what I would rank them right now. It's a fantastic coaster. It's a B&M flyer, which means you lay down uh, and you're facing the ground as you go through this coaster. My number four is Revenge of the Mummy at Universal Studios Orlando. It is a super cool, awesome mix of a dark ride and a roller coaster. I love it. I love the false ending in it. It is a great ride. I was thinking what is my favorite coaster probably right now in Disney and Universal. It's really close between a few, but right now I would give it to Revenge of the Mummy. My number three favorite roller coaster takes us right back to Canada's Wonderland. It is my favorite coaster in the park. It is Leviathan. Now when Leviathan opened, which is a B&M Giga Coaster, which means it's over 300 feet tall, the park already had a B&M Hyper Coaster, which means it's over 200 feet tall called Behemoth. And I still liked Behemoth more 
than Leviathan. For the first couple years it was open. But just over the past couple summers, I just really fell in love with the ride. I think you feel all the airtime a whole lot more. It is just a fantastic roller coaster. My number two favorite roller coaster takes us to Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio to Maverick. Man, I love that ride. It is absolutely crazy. Now, my dad doesn't like going on many roller coasters anymore, but he will always go on Maverick. What a crazy ride. You get thrown out of your seat through this thing. For what feels like the whole ride, it is a blast. If you have not seen Maverick before, go check out a POV, which means point of view. Uh, check that out on YouTube. Just look up Maverick POV at Cedar Point and do the same thing for this number one ride coming up. Crazy roller coasters, amazing. The number one roller coaster is not too far from Maverick. It's a full two minute walk away. It is Steel Vengeance. Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. Wow, what an amazing ride. When I got off this ride, it, I was so blown away. I called everyone I knew that liked roller coasters and I was telling them how amazing this ride was. There's nothing I have been on that compares to this at all. It is so much fun. It is so smooth. You feel zero pain on this ride. And it has more airtime than any other roller coaster in the world, which means you are out of your seat for more time than any other roller coaster in the world. It has like the world's fastest airtime hill. There's a whole bunch of crazy world records. It is an absolutely amazing roller coaster. It's a hybrid coaster by RMC. Wow. So amazing. Those are my top five favorite roller coasters. Now at this point, you might be wondering what content you're gonna see from me going forward. What type of videos am I gonna make? Ultimately, it is up to all of you. What do you guys wanna see? Now, hopefully when everything gets back to normal, I can show you guys a whole bunch of really, really cool videos of the fairs and festivals I travel to and all the way behind the scenes with the other entertainers there. Uh, I'm gonna make sure they all perform some really cool stuff special for the YouTube. I will make them with friendship. <laughs> um, that will hopefully be a whole lot of fun. We do have some virtual shows coming up and some cool virtual theaters we're doing. So maybe I'll share some behind the scenes of that. Let me know if you guys want to see some magic. If you guys want to see me talk about some news. If you want me to do like a weekly or monthly news and rumor worldwide theme park or roller coaster update. Let me know. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me virtually today. My name is Aaron Matthews and make sure to follow me on Instagram at Aaron Matthews Magic so I can update all of you when I have some videos and some new things coming out. I'm so excited to bring all of you some new videos in the future. Please let me know in the comments below what all of you guys want to see. What kind of videos do you want from me and from Brandon and Craig? I know they have a whole bunch of amazing ideas to bring all of you soon. I'm so excited to see all the amazing things to come from Amusement Insiders. Till I see you all in the future. Bye-bye.